everybody, I'm Tabitha, and today we're polishing your draft. After National Novel Writing Month, one of the biggest things we have to do pushing forward is get those drafts ready for other people to look at them. Those other people might be beta readers, they could be editors, and someday they're going to be readers. Editing is a huge part of it, which is why last week I gave you a video with my tips for that first round edit. But I've heard from some of you that even after that first round edit is done, you're not ready to send it to other people, especially if it's the first book you've ever written. So today, I'm going to give you a couple of quick short tips that you can use to help polish your draft and get it ready for more eyes to be on it. Ready? Let's go. Tip number one. If it's slow to you... This might seem obvious, but if it's slow to you, it's slow to us. I never thought this was something I would have to say before until I sat down with an author who had a brand new draft they just finished in front of them, and they were going to hand it to me asking me to beta read. Now before, if you're watching this and you know me, you automatically assume that it's you, I should tell you I'm currently beta reading for six people. So there is a chance I'm talking about someone else. Anyway, this person handed me their draft and asked me to read it, and when I read chapter one and said that chapter one was moving a little slow, they said, I normally skim that part. It's information they need, but I already know it too. Time out. If you as the writer have to skim through it because it's a little bit of a boring backstory, it's a little bit of a boring backstory to us. So my tip is always, if you find those parts that you find yourself skimming through, whether it's a paragraph, a page, or an entire chapter, I recommend folding the corner of that manuscript or highlighting that paragraph, pushing it aside, and coming back to it later. It's a problem, and it's going to need to be fixed. Tip number two. Read it out loud. This tip comes straight to you out of the classroom. I used to teach language arts to middle school and elementary school kids, and I often read books out loud to them. This was a reading strategy that I used, but the reason why I use it as a tip now is because reading those classics out loud forced me sometimes to change the words, especially dialogue, to make them seem more current for the kids who were listening to them. It was usually just one word here or there. Sometimes it was shortening to a word that's not really a word, like gotta instead of got to. But either way, my tip for you is to read your book out loud. You might find a spot where it feels too forced or unnatural and it's not the way people talk and it's not what you meant. Those sections may be something you want to rework. Remember, in dialogue especially, grammar rules do not necessarily have to be followed. If you find a section where you're coming down between grammatical rules or sounds more correct, I'm going to tell you to go with the part that sounds right, especially when it's dialogue. Tip number three, read, read in, in your genre. genre. This is especially important if you're feeling uncomfortable about handing yours off to someone else, but you can't quite put your finger on why you might be feeling that way. Read something written in that same genre and age category. Read many somethings written in that same genre and age category. See if you can identify what it is about yours that isn't quite feeling right. Is the voice different? Does yours feel forced? Is it too much like something else? Why are you feeling uncomfortable? The good news is, oftentimes when we start immersing ourselves in that age category and genre, we find that we actually had ours labeled correctly and it fits better than we thought. And that makes us more comfortable about handing our manuscript off to someone else. Tip number four, let it rest. This tip is probably the best and most important tip I can give you when you're talking about trying to polish your draft or make yourself more comfortable handing it off to someone, and that's to put it off to the side and let it rest for a while. Don't work on it, don't read it, just leave it. Later on when you come back to it, you'll often find that you'll see sections you reread and think, wow, I wrote this, this is really good. Sometimes we'll pick it up and we'll immediately see a solution to a problem we felt like it had before. Letting a manuscript rest on the shelf is the best way to get new eyes on it or fresh eyes on it when you pick it up and read it again. The benefit to this tip at this time of year is that if you happen to celebrate holiday season, this is a perfect time of year to put it away and let it rest while you deal with the holidays and being with your family at this particular time of year. You can pick it up again after the new year starts and maybe you'll find something brand new. Okay, that's it for me and my short, quick tips about polishing your draft. Hopefully you picked up something you can use in this video. Drop me a comment so I know you're here. Hit subscribe and tap that little bell so you know when I'm back. Keep plotting the path to your dreams, and I will see you soon. Bye! Bye.